What I have here is a, uh, a Sanyo. It doesn't have a date on it, but a Model DS25380. What I'm doing with this set here in the bin, because without even trying, is uh, we have the B&K checker uh, 467 we got the other day. So we're going to use this TV here as a uh, as a test case to uh, see if we can test the CRT. In. I don't know if this set runs. I don't know anything about it other than it's going to be it's going to be the candidate for testing the CRT with the BNK model 467. Again, it's not in the latest download, so what we'll do is, um, I believe we could test this CRT with one of the other numbers here. That's a A63AF32X according to the SAMS, and there's A63AF22 and 40. 32 is not listed, so we'll go with the 32, or, or I mean one of the other numbers, and give that a whirl. If we have the uh, correct socket adapter, which this is uncharted territory here. And uh, in other news, while I'm on here, the Sony that we featured in another video, I just happened to go through some paperwork I had. And at one time, I was able to buy the D board for the Sony here for $39.95. I did call the outfit, and uh, it's no longer in, in stock or available. And uh, another thing I've, I've read is uh, there's a thermistor in there. TH5002, I took the part number down, which is still available. I don't know on the schematic back there where TH5002 is. It's a long shot, but uh, we'll find where that is later on the, uh, on the Sony. I assume it's somewhere in that part of the D board because that's where we hit with the heat gun to get the Sony going. And the last project we're trying to do in preparation is uh, to put this Tektronix, I believe it's a 2465 scope, it's one of the first portable scopes. It does run, the only thing I needed to do was uh, it had been stored in a room that had a leaky roof and wall so the moisture had gotten to it. I found a uh, CPU board for it and I've got the traces and everything back. It's a really nice scope of its day but uh, 350 megahertz. I've ordered capacitors for it to install. I uh, actually only need two, but four came in the package, so not to complain there. Uh, it's running. The only reason I couldn't physically put it back together was the capacitors I used were too big. I couldn't physically put it in because the fan shroud and everything has to go back. So we're going to try the put back on the Tektronix oscilloscope here. The goal being to eventually get to the uh, CTC-15 there, which is under the CTC-24. So I've been coached to uh, get that thing running. I have my Variac standby, and I do have the milliamp meter for later on. I didn't know at the time why I bought that milliamp meter. It just looked like something I needed, and it's something I need. So more on that later. That's the update. We may play with the Sanyo. We have to get the scope running. We have an open box special here, a box opening debut to do. Below the scope that came in that I haven't addressed or opened yet. We'll try to check the CRT in the Sanyo. And we'll look at that thermistor in the Sony to see what that leads us into. Thanks for watching. Okay, back on the Sanyo here. I've gone ahead and uh, plugged it in so we can try it. Um, the tube number here on the set is the A63AHC26X, which is not listed in the current B&K setup chart. Uh, actually, um, even the one in the SAMS differs and is not listed, but neither one of them uh, I even have the adapter for it to check with the B&K. However, what is included with this B&K was the uh, dandy adapter here where you can attach the uh, leads to the uh, individual grids and whatnot on the set. So, 
I'll peruse this. I should be able to figure that out. But in the meantime, we've gone ahead and plugged the set in to see what it does. And I've noticed on this model, it, it doesn't show any uh, screen until you change the channel. It doesn't have blue screen whatnot, but and it blanks it out if there's no signal present. The tube looks good though, and this set works. I haven't tried a signal on it, but again, we don't need to know that. Most of these, uh, the only feature about this that has uh, is a killer is these are the ones that tip forward but all the weight is in the front so more than the high voltage shock you can have the TV fall on you and uh, that's what this era set is as it's more plastic than uh, than anything else and 75 percent of the weight is in the front so another thing on these usually when they fall off the table from being so front heavy they tear the tuner jack out but this one appears okay this is a very basic model. You can't get any more basic than this one. So what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll try to uh, use the universal clip adapter to uh, go ahead and check the uh, the CRT on this. This will be our organ tester CRT for the BNK 467. Thanks for watching.